Hi there, my name is Neil Blevins and this is a tutorial about painting lumps and divots. So even though this is a 2D painting tutorial, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, start off in a 3D program and uh, the only reason I'm doing this is so that we can see how real light works and then use that for our painting. So in this case I have three different um, shapes. The first one is a bump that's going in, the second one is a, a bump that's going out, and the third is also a bump going in but it also has a, a hole in the center. And in this particular example I have a light source which is coming from the top. So uh, for the bump going in, uh, the surface that's closest to the light it goes dark and the surface furthest from the light goes light. And if the bump is going out then the surface that's closest to the light is light and the surface furthest away is dark. And then the third example is the same as the first example except I just have the, the hole cut in. And this follows wherever the light source is. So if I take the light and I move it around you can see that the light and dark follows whatever direction the light is. So now that we've seen how the real thing works, uh, let's go and do this inside of 2D. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and I have a surface here, uh, some sort of skin, uh, rocky sort of weirdness, and I have a layer mask which is poking holes through it. But the holes right now look very 2D, very flat. There's a, like it's a very, very thin surface and we want this to look much thicker. So let's go and uh, do what we saw in the 3D render. So for a hole, um, in this example let's say the light is coming from the top again. So the surfaces that are closest to the light are dark and the surfaces furthest away are light. So let's go in and start painting. So put some darkness up here. And then, yeah, let's do these other ones too. Okay. And then we'll pick a lighter color for the further away surfaces. And you can see that just by adding those those two colors here, immediately this looks like a much thicker surface that you're you're poking into. So this is a much thinner one, and then there's with the, the stuff that we just painted. And the same can be done with bumps if we want to bump out. So say I'll take this uh, soft brush, and so for the stuff that is bumped out, we'll start with a lighter color. And put that at the top and then take the darker color and use that underneath. And immediately we're getting stuff that looks like it's bumping out. Now let's do one more 2D example and uh, if you're doing something that's more more precise or you know more hard surfacey, something that needs a, a lot more um, precise detail to it, uh, you can also do the exactly the same thing using layer styles. So let's say that these lighter areas here are panels that you want it to look like it's bumped out. You go up to layer in Photoshop and layer style, bevel and emboss. And um, let's reduce the size to something smaller. And uh, light sources from above, like the previous example. And the direction is up because you want it to look like it's bulging up. And there you go. So it's doing exactly what we did with the painted example where the surface that's closest to the light is light and the surface that's furthest away from the light is dark. And then we can do the inverse for the panel lines. So if we go here to layer style, bevel and emboss, um, again let's turn this down and uh, we want it to look like it's bumped down. And let's do uh, outer bevel as opposed to an inner bevel. And the light source is up at the top. You can see this now looks like you're cutting into the surface as opposed to bumping out. And if you go over here again and play with the up and down, you can see the difference. So that looks like it's bulging out, and this looks like it's bulging in. 
So again, whether you use this technique or the painted technique, it really doesn't matter. It's all doing exactly the same theory uh, under the hood. It's just one I tend to find better for more precise, hard surfacey stuff, and the other I find better for more uh, painterly organic type stuff. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. And uh, please visit my website if you'd like more tutorials at neilblevins.com. And if you want to be notified next time my YouTube channel gets updated, please subscribe. Thank you very much.